Hey, my good friends, Sam Haymart with Test Driven TV. This week, I got the chance to test drive the 2022 Toyota Corolla XSE Apex. This, like a lot of Corollas out there, has the top of the line two liter engine. So it's in the garage. We're gonna take a complete underhood tour and outline all the major technical features as well as the maintenance service points for the do-it-yourselfers out there. The two liter four cylinder engine in the 2020 to 2022 Toyota Corolla has the internal code name M20A FKS and the marketing name Dynamic Force. The dual overhead cam 16 valve engine features dual variable cam timing and a relatively high compression ratio of 13 to 1. In this vehicle, it's rated at 169 horsepower at 6,600 RPM and 151 pound feet of torque at 4,400 RPM. It has both port and direct fuel injection, Toyota calls D4S, and a host of design features that make it one of the most thermally efficient engines in its class. In the Corolla, it's either available with a dynamic shift CVT with physical first launch gear such as in our XSE tester and also a six-speed manual transmission. Following the airflow, the intake charge starts at the top of the radiator coming in through a long snorkel pipe and into the air filter box at the passenger side front of the engine bay. From there, it travels through a tube to the drive-by-wire throttle body and into a composite plastic intake manifold. It then travels into the combustion chambers. Atop of the head, you can see the four spark plug coil packs. Some of the port fuel injection system is visible, but most of the direct fuel injection components are hidden below the valve cover. Do-it-yourself maintenance is relatively straightforward in the Corolla. The engine coolant reservoir is found on the passenger side of the engine compartment, and just ahead of it, closer to the headlamp assembly, is the windshield washer fluid reservoir. The brake fluid reservoir is found on the driver's side firewall of the engine bay and requires you to remove a small access cover to actually top off the fluid. It's easy, it just snaps in and out. Ahead of the brake fluid reservoir, you'll find the 12 volt battery, and ahead of it, you'll find the ECU, and ahead of that, the main air filter box at the front of the engine bay, which can be easily opened by popping a couple clips. We also have a video on changing the filter, linked down below. Checking the engine oil is done at the top of the engine with a dipstick found easily by its bright yellow handle. Close by is the oil filler cap. Accessing the oil filter, however, is done from underneath the car. It's pretty simple stuff in case you wanted to know. Most Corolla owners will never even know what it looks like under the hood of their car because they're pretty reliable, anecdotally speaking. But if you do your own maintenance, there you go. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. That said, if you want to see the test drive for this vehicle, you can see that right there on our other channel, Test Driven TV, or subscribe to TDTV Garage right there if you really just like the technical stuff. 